is Kelsey and Kendra. So today we're going to be doing our May favorites for you guys. But before we get into the favorites video, we wanted to quickly announce our giveaway, our 500k giveaway. I know it's taking us forever to get to it. I think we're at like 515 now. I'm not exactly sure. We're kind of late, but we're just trying to get all of the prizes together for you guys because we're going to have five winners total since we are at 500,000 subscribers. We didn't get a chance to do a 400,000 subscriber giveaway because we had just moved into this apartment and we were like trying to get our lives together pretty much and we didn't have time. So we're going to be doing a 500k like I just said. So we're going to be giving away five boxes of hair care products, skincare, as well as makeup. And we're also going to be giving away five Ulta gift cards. Each gift card is going to be worth $50. So we're going to be giving away quite a bit of stuff and our last giveaway that we did, which I think was the 300k giveaway, mm -hmm. we gave away Sephora gift cards, but I think last time I mentioned us giving away gift cards for this giveaway, a lot of you said that you wanted to do Ulta this time, so this time we're going to be giving away Ulta gift cards. So each winner will be getting an Ulta gift card and a box of goodies, mm -hmm. like makeup products and skincare and hair care like Kendra said. Mm -hmm. So five winners total are going to be getting all those things. Yes. So the giveaway will begin today, of course. You guys can go ahead and put enter me in the comments below. And of course, be subscribed to our channel. And it will end on July 10th. So it will be closed on July 10th. No one else can enter after that. So you have plenty of time to enter. So the winners are going to be announced on Instagram. So when you do put enter me in the comments below, also make sure you put your Instagram name so we can add you as well. So that'll be easier for you to know if you want or not. Because Instagram does alert you when somebody has tagged you in a photo. So we figure it'll be a little bit easier that way. So if you don't have an Instagram, you might want to make one just because that's the easiest way for us to announce the winners. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we're just going to hop right into the May favorites because we do have quite a few items and they're mostly makeup. We have hardly any randoms. We just have one skincare and one hair care product other than the makeup. So yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first product I have to mention is a foundation and I already used this in a tutorial. I think it was my most recent tutorial, the summer, everyday summer glow tutorial that I did. And I used this foundation in that video and I've been obsessed with it before that video because I tested it out for like a month before I decided to film with it to make sure I liked it because I have been hearing so many good things about this foundation. So when Clinique reached out to us to try it, I was super, super excited. And I did get more than one shade just because I wanted to make sure that the color matched me really well. So I mixed the color 26 Amber and 24 Golden together and just applied it all over my face. You guys saw me do this in that tutorial if you already saw it. And I also love, love, love the packaging. It does have a really fat doe foot applicator to make it a little bit easier for you and less messy because sometimes with foundations I feel like the packaging was like kind of like not thought out that well and they just you know threw it together. I just really like how they thought about the packaging as well as the actual product inside. So this is a foundation and concealer mixed together and it does have more of a matte finish so I wouldn't really recommend this if you had like kind of dry skin because it does kind of dry on the matte side. Since this is a foundation and concealer mix, I did read some reviews where some people use this as just a concealer, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I think I'm just going to buy a lighter shade for concealing and see how I like it as just a concealer because I've been loving it as a foundation. So love, love, love this foundation. And I don't know if I said the name, but this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Okay, so the first makeup item I have to mention is a product that I've been using for quite some time now and I don't know why I haven't mentioned it up to this point. I think I just keep forgetting because I use it all the time and when I'm doing my makeup and I put everything up, I forget to take this back out. So this is the ColourPop Brow Pencil and this is in the color Black and Brown. I'm obsessed with this. I remember when I first got this, I didn't expect it to work as good as it did. This is a super pigmented brow pencil and it's very fine. This is pretty much a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, in my opinion. You know, the Brow Wiz is super, super skinny and you get like a really precise like stroke when you're filling in your brow. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a really, really good pigmented brow pencil but still affordable. I think these are like five or six dollars. I did order some backups of these online. I'm obsessed and I do feel like you can do a like bold brow with these as well as like a less bold brow if you're not into like a super dramatic brow. So I feel like this is a very versatile product and it does come with a spoolie at the other end of it. So I highly recommend this. I haven't really used anything in the drugstore that I really really like. So this is comparable to the price of a drugstore brow pencil, but it works just as good as a high-end brow pencil. So I, I love this brow pencil. I haven't done a brow routine yet just because I'm trying to figure out what to use because I love my Anastasia brow products and I love this. Maybe I can do an affordable one for you guys and also 
a high-end one. It just depends on what you guys want to see. But I love this ColourPop brow pencil. Okay, so my next favorite is a highlighter. And this is the MAC Global Glow. And Kendra mentioned this in our highlighters video. When we went in MAC uh, a couple of weeks ago, I like swatched this on my hand. And I didn't realize that Kendra had already had it. And I read it and I was like, oh, this is a Global Glow. Kendra already has this. And I was like, okay, I have to have this. I'm obsessed. I am wearing it today. This stuff is so gorgeous. It does give more of to me like a wet highlighter look which i do like and i also like that this is a very versatile highlighter so i feel like a lot of skin tones can pull this off if you're darker or lighter so i really really like that about this as well and i'm not always into max highlighters the only other one that i have that i really like is gold deposit but since i've gotten this one i've been using it way more than that one so i just really love this highlighter I'm guessing you put me on by accident because I didn't even realize that when you swatched this it, was, it was what I had. Yeah, I didn't realize this was it at the store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, Global Glow, if you have not gotten it yet from Kendra's recommendation, get it. Okay, so the next three products that I have are lip products. And I feel like there can never be a normal favorites video without at least one lip product being mentioned. So I have three here. The first two I have are from Gerard Cosmetics. And I don't think I've mentioned these before, but I have used them in a couple of videos recently. And these are both from Gerard Cosmetics, and they are the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade 1995, and I love this, love this shade. I feel like it's very comparable to Lolita by Kat Von D. It's not an exact dupe, but it is very similar to me, or at least on my lips it is. These are super pigmented, and they're not drying. So they do say Hydra Matte, which I, I love the formula of these. So they're really comfortable on the lips and I wasn't expecting for them to be this like good in formula because y'all know like the Kylie Cosmetics as well as the Anastasia liquid lipsticks have like some of the best formulas ever pretty much. So these can hold a candle to those. I love these so so much and the next one is Everything Nice. These are my two favorite shades from the Hydra Matte liquid lipsticks that she has. The Everything Nice is a little bit more on the peachy side. It's the perfect nude for darker skin tones. I feel like it looks different on a lot of different skin tones, but for darker people, it definitely is a really pretty nude. I'm wearing it today, but I have a gloss over top. But I've been wearing Everything Nice a lot when I can't decide what to wear. It's just been my go-to lately, so I love both of these. And we do have a coupon code for Gerard Cosmetics if you guys are interested. We'll leave it down below. But these are bomb, like the formula, you need these in your life. And the last liquid lipstick I have here is from Anastasia, and this is in the shade Ashton. I ordered this online, but I didn't realize that they have some of the newer shades in Ulta, because I don't know mm -hmm. what Kelsey was getting. I think she was getting a gloss or something, and I saw that they had the Ashton section, but they were all gone in Ulta, so I'm glad I ordered this online before. This shade is the only one I've been interested in because I feel like a lot of the other ones would not complement my skin tone, but this one is like the perfect, like, brownie orange brick color that's what it looks like to me i know it's very descriptive but i can't think of any other way to describe this it's so so pretty on the lips i feel like i had a selfie on instagram with it and a lot of people were complimenting that lip color it's just really warm this shade goes perfect with any like warm eyeshadow look it just brings together your whole makeup look Super, super pretty. And y'all know Anastasia has like one of the best formulas on the market for liquid lipsticks. Like yes. if you have not tried their lip products, I don't know what you're doing. You need this shade if you have not tried it yet. Ashton is very universal, but looks super pretty on everybody. So Ashton has been life lately. Okay, so since we're on the topic of lip products, I'm gonna mention the only one that I have today. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in the color Sepia. I got this recommendation from you guys actually and when somebody said that Anastasia had a gloss in sepia I was like really because I do have the liquid lipstick so I was super super excited to try the gloss so when I tried it I fell in love I am wearing it today and I just feel like this is the perfect like nudie mauve like brown. Uh, brown gloss for like deeper skin tones because sometimes I feel like some colors look better in the tube than on me sometimes I'm just like oh it doesn't look the same or it doesn't look like look like how I thought but I can just use this by itself and I completely love how it looks alone I do have a lip pencil underneath here today and I have worn this by itself plenty of times and I absolutely love it I did also use this in that everyday summer glow video as well if you want to see this in action so this is just an amazing gloss and Anastasia she can never go wrong to me her glosses are absolutely amazing we talked about them in our last favorites I think we mentioned Fudge, Tara, and I also mentioned Warm Bronze. Did, yes. you, did you mention another one? 
Just terrorize you. Okay, so we already raved about the formulation of her glosses because they're they super smell good too. pigmented. Yeah, they smell amazing. But the pigmentation is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, just like so a liquid lipstick and a, a gloss. Gorgeous. Yeah. Baby. These are, yeah, exactly. These are definitely not sheer glosses. They are pigmented glosses. So if you're not into like a pigmented gloss, I wouldn't recommend these. But I mean, who isn't? You want to get that good color payoff that you're looking at in the tube. And these definitely give you that. So I love this color. It's amazing. They smell amazing. They last all day. I hardly ever have to reapply this when I do wear it. So I just love, love, love these glosses. I want to get more colors because I'm building my collection slowly. Okay, so the next product that I have is kind of random because I never mentioned them. This is a brush from e.l.f. And I've been loving this brush like a lot this past month. It just stood out to me because you guys know I've been loving contouring for like the past year now. And I usually contour with like a beauty blender or on one of my other Morphe brushes. But this one has stood out to me a lot. This is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And it's basically what it says, a small stipple brush. But I love to use this to blend out my, my contour with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick because it is a cream product. And I feel like this works really well with cream products. So if you ever get a chance, please get your hands on this brush. I think they sell these brushes at Target. Some Target sell them, some don't. But if not, you can just go online. And Elf, of course, you guys know is super affordable. But this brush, I have been loving it. I feel like it makes my life so much easier when I'm blending out my contour. I never thought that I would like a stipple brush for contour. So yeah, I love this. I usually use these kind of brushes for like a highlighter or something. But I've definitely been using it as a go-to contour blending brush. So love this. Okay, so my next favorite is a palette. And this is from Stila. This is the Perfect Me Perfect Hue palette. And I've only been using this for about a week and a half. Because I got it right before we went to Colorado like a week ago. No, it was a little longer than a week. It was a little over a week, almost two weeks. Yeah, and I took this with me on that trip because when I saw it in Ulta, I thought it was the perfect travel palette because it has eyeshadows and blushes in it. And I just feel like it's just so versatile. And I pretty much only used this palette while I was there. And it's just so versatile, like I said. It has excellent pigmentation, and I just love, love, love the colors. They do have different colors in each palette, and this is the tan slash deep palette, of course. Some of the other palettes had pretty colors in them, but I just felt like this one had more of what suited my skin tone, which is why this is the Tan Deep Palette. And what made me want to get the palette, honestly, I swatched this like super pretty like goldy rose gold champagne color in the middle and I had to have it. I'm like, this is absolutely gorgeous. I had this color on my lid today and I just love it. It's so pretty and these blushes are amazing as well. I had this super um, pretty peachy one over here on today. Um, I just really, really like it because at first I was like, maybe that's too light because obviously this one over here is like one of me and Kendra's favorite color blushes. It kind of reminds me of Seduction by NARS. Mm -hmm. It's just super pretty and like a plum undertone color. So I just really, really like it. I do have this entire palette on my face today minus this black shadow and the blush over here. I just love this palette. It's amazing. Great for tra travel. Like I said, it has an awesome big mirror right here. And like I said, I am wearing this entire palette on my eyes today. So let me know if you guys want a tutorial with me using this palette because it's life. Okay, so the next product, we both have the same favorite. And these are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. We recently got some Lily Lashes online. We ordered like a few pairs and Miami's have been like the style that I've been wanting to get for a while. Her lashes look gorgeous on. They just bring yeah. so much glam to every look. Mm -hmm. Like she does not have any shy lashes on there like if no. you're into lashes and you like that bam in your face go to lash she's got you because yeah these are not natural lashes i'm gonna be honest <laughs> like they're not natural but they just add so much to every eye look even yeah. if you want to do something simple these were not cheap but it was worth it to me just because i feel like they're gonna last a long time mm -hmm. and i do have a couple of other other mink lashes from like other brands and they do last as long as you take care of them because if you just like rip them off and like don't take your time with taking the glue off, mm -hmm. then they won't last. But I feel like if you take good care of them, they will last. But the thing I like about the Miamis is that you can wear these with a super glamorous look and you can also wear them with an everyday look. So they're mm -hmm. super versatile because um, some of the lashes that I have, you can only wear like with a glam look. Because sometimes just like, okay, those lashes yeah, are a little much. Yes. Exactly. It's uh -huh. a little much sometimes. But I feel like these... You can wear with any kind of look. Because she does have a couple of other lashes that I cannot wait to use in tutorials. Super mm -hmm. gorgeous like Mykonos. 
Oh, so mm -hmm. gorgeous. But yeah, Miamis have definitely been our favorite for the month. I feel mm -hmm. like I've been wearing mine like, I wore these like five times already. Yeah, I feel like I wore mine like four or five times as well. Yeah. And they're very comfortable on. A yes. lot of mm -hmm. these mink lashes feel very heavy. Like yeah. they look real, real good. Mm -hmm. But some of them aren't as comfortable to wear. Yeah. These are really comfortable. I'm not sure about the other styles because we haven't tried those out yet, but the Miamis are definitely really, really comfortable yeah. on the eyelids. Because some people shy away from lashes because they don't like how they feel, but yeah. you forget you have these on like throughout the day, so love the Miamis. Okay, so my last and final favorite is a skincare product. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I've been only using this for about a week and a half now, but it's already made it to this favorites video. I've used this about four times already and the first time after using this I had already seen a difference in my skin. I actually brought, bought the full size. This is actually the full size. I wish it was a little bit bigger. When I first tried this I got the little sample size as a point perk and I usually don't get point perks. Kendra usually does. I'm just like ain't nothing up here I want to try. But that day I saw this and I saw exfoliator. You guys know I love exfoliators and then I saw poor dermabrasion. But yeah, so it just sounded interesting to me and I love Dr. Brandt as well and Kendra raved over his primer. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, I just should give it a try and see how I like it. And I tried it out in Colorado in the shower and after I got out and put my makeup on, I was like, Kendra, my makeup went on so smooth. I feel like I had a new skin. Like I just brew a new skin. It's just amazing. And I like this because it does a really, really good, durable job without scratching your face. I did have a little like redness around my nose. That's just because it was getting uh, off the dead skin like it's supposed to do. But the beads in this are super fine. You can't even see them really. So they're super, super fine and not irritating or harsh to the skin. So if you have sensitive skin and you shy away from exfoliators because they're like aggravating or you know like super annoying to the skin or like you know your skin peels or you know you just get like a rash or something because I do know some people who just can't use exfoliators and that's super unfortunate because they like save my skin they really do and they help my makeup go on so so much smoother you need this in your life even if you don't have, have sensitive skin I do recommend this as well but especially for people who have sensitive skin and who can't find a really good exfoliator and I said after I use this after like a third time that I think I like this a little more than my MAC exfoliator and that's saying a lot because that's like one of my favorite exfoliators ever but I think I like this one a little bit better just because it's not as harsh abrasive yeah it's not as abrasive that's that the word I was thinking if you have oily skin though still if you have oily skin yeah opt for that one I like both just because my skin is kind of crazy and I can just you know use both but if you're strictly sensitive you need this okay so the last product that I have here is a hair product and this is from design essentials they sent us a PR package like a few weeks ago I'm always looking for like edge chambers to try just because I like to keep my edges on fleek especially when I wear my hair like in a bun or like in an up style or even like when my washing goes I like to tame my edges and just have them looking neat this I actually gave to my mom because we give her a lot of products I, tr I asked her if she had an edge tamer and she gave me this and I was like wait then we give this to you and she was like yeah and I tried it and I said sorry mom I can't get this back I'm a big <laughs> Indian giver today she took it back I like it so <laughs> I'm keeping it so that's what happened. That's how much I loved it that I gave it to my mom and I asked for it back. So sorry, mom. <laughs> but she has a lot of products still. So we <laughs> give her a lot of products. So she wasn't missing out and she didn't mind either. So this is the Natural Honey and Shea Edge Tamer. And this is the Firmer Hold one. And it says for natural hair. So if you are having a problem with taming your edges and trying to get your edges right, you need this in your life. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It's a very fruity smell. And it does say honey and shea, but I don't I don't smell it. No? I don't smell honey or shea for some reason. I smell like mango. I smell just, like peach. Yeah, it has a peachy, like fruity smell. Oh it doesn't gosh, smell like honey. So oh my gosh, it smells real, really nice. The only thing I would recommend about this, obviously when you work with edge tamers, like you apply it with your fingers first, but don't only use your fingers, kind of like smooth it out with a the brush. brush. Yeah. Because if you don't, it will leave a residue. Mm -hmm. And Especially when you just did your hair, you don't want it looking dirty already. So you want to make sure you smooth it out with a brush and don't apply too much. Because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. I've been obsessed with this. And I've never really tried anything from Design Essential. So when I tried this, I was like, okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be, like, work this good. So. Yeah, because I did complimentary edges. Yes, they look like, so good. Like, fresh. 
Well, like you so, got a fresh relaxer, and we don't do that cream no, crack. No, uh-uh. So, not over here. This is the way to go. <laughs> yes. Use this, and it's supposed to have really good ingredients. And it is recommended for curly hair because I think this is from their natural line. Yes, it says it's from their natural line. So yes, I highly recommend this and it says anti-frizz so it's not going to revert back because some edge tamers tend to do that. Yeah. You know, our favorite one is the Hicks Edge Control. That's mm -hmm. like the mother of all edge controls. I love so that stuff. So that's our favorite, but this one is definitely up there with that one. So love this. Okay, that completes our May favorites. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and let us know if you've tried out any of our favorites that we've mentioned already or if you're gonna try some of them out. And also don't forget to enter our 500K giveaway so you can win some goodies as well as a $50 Ulta gift card. So make sure you enter down below your Instagram name and enter me in the comments below yes because that's where the winner will be announced on july 10th but if you guys want more info on the giveaway all the rules will be in the description box below so you don't miss anything and yeah that's pretty much it so we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time